Boys and girls, it's your boy. I'm gonna show you how to chop a break in Tal Sampler when you don't know the BPM of the break. There's certainly a lot of tools out there to help with this today to figure out the BPM, but let's say you wanna go full on old school, just make things easy. Uh, this is a method I use on my Akai S3000 uh, to chop breaks when I don't know the BPM. So we'll make it old school here. So I have Tal Sampler, I'm gonna to go to layer A and drag in this think break. I'm gonna go into here, turn off loop, turn off track, and I'm gonna go set the key zone to just C3, so root key, C3, high key, C3, low key, C3. So there's our break, it's only on C3, and that's where it plays the original pitch. So what I wanna do now is come into my DAW, create a one bar loop, and I want to paint in that C3, make sure my velocity's up, and I'm gonna play this loop and see if the break loops perfectly with no gaps. So there's definitely a little bit of a gap there and that's telling us the break is going a little too fast for the BPM of my DAW. So my DAW's BPM is 160. We're gonna to need to slow it down. This is super simple. Come into layer A and you're gonna mess with your tune and fine tune knobs. Tune gives you bigger steps, fine tune, just like it sounds. Um, you get fine, fine tune control. So I'm gonna drag the tune down negative one, and as you drag down values in Tile Sampler in the middle, you'll actually see what those values are. So that's where you can get a, a visual representation. Let's try negative one. That sounds perfect to me. I think that's great. It's a nice, perfect loop. You could spend 20 hours on this stage, but it sounds good. It's good enough. Roll with it. So now this break, in theory, fits the tempo for my project, so I can go on to then chop it. Let's do a quick chop here like I've shown before. So first thing I'm going to do is copy this mapping over from C3 to C sharp 3. I'm going to move the start to the snare. And let me actually put this in a mute group. I'm going to put it in mute group one, go back to my C3 hit, put that in mute group one so they choke each other. Cool. Let's select C3. Copy mapping. So now we're on D. Let's move this forward. Use that little shuffle there, put it in mute group one, copy mapping. Now we're on D sharp three. Let's move it forward. Let's just bring it up to the little. There we go. So we're chopped up. We're time stretch. We're, well, we're not time stretch, but we're in the right tempo here. Let me come to my master and actually turn off poly as well. It's probably a little redundant with the choke groups, but either way, another thing you could do is turn on one shot so you don't have to hold down the key. So up here, envelope one, if I turn on one shot and just press C3. Could just make it a little bit easier when you're sequencing things. So. We're chopped up, we've tuned the break, fits perfectly in a loop, so now what we can do is come in and paint something in. Get the point. So that's it, folks. Very simple. What to do if you don't know the BPM of your break and you want it in Tile Sampler. Easy peasy. Go old school. Keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Peace out.